Welcome back, everyone, to the first full season of Subnautica Below Zero modded. I've already done full release. I have done a lot of early access gameplay. And you know what? It's a shorter game, so let's make it longer and use some mods. And to start with, we're going to go with just basic utility type mods. That means nothing specific to sea truck today because I don't have a sea truck yet. So. Uh, I just gotta get started and then we'll we'll expand even more as I get more options. All right, I have crash landed. Let's grab flares, food. I'm just gonna grab everything. You know, this meteor is falling all around and I'm just like, hmm, is there a piece of food over here? Get in the, well, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead, there we go. Open, done. Get that tool tip out of the way. Let's go, water. And grab supplies like right, Mr. Bladderfish here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Go ah, come here. There we go. Grabbing goodies along the way to. I'll say this is pretty close to where my last uh, drop pod ended up. I don't think it's quite the exact same spot, but it's very close. So, all right, we got the drop pod. I've got a ton of flares and such. I mean, like, oh, it's too many flares. And first things first, I got to get supplies going. That's the nice thing now with Below Zero. We can just pin recipes, so we're going to pin up the stuff I need. Scanner tool, you know, fans, all that stuff. All the good stuff. Grabbing supplies. Should be able and, to use uh, this. Yeah. Let's see. I also did not place in... One battery. I need a battery in there in the midst as well. Yeah, just one battery. Fins, so I can swim faster. Survival knife, so I can choppy chop. Scanner tool, gotta be able to scan stuff. And that pretty much just leaves. Uh. All right. I have oh, I have a battery. Oh, that's right. Duh. I was thinking what's going on, but that's the first mod I have added is the Easy Craft mod. So it made. The battery for me automatically, which means I don't even need that. I just need to make sure I had the supplies for it. Uh, so yeah, got easy craft mod makes things so much easier. Uh, all I got to do now is grab some creep vine samples and then we'll do this again. Sea glide fragment. Yes. Hurry up and get my movement going faster. I, I yeah. It's always a pain when you start over and you're just like, did it always feel this slow? All right, got the scan and we got a supply cache popping up already. That's always a good thing. There we go, got that. Let's get my O2 tank. O2 tank automatically makes the fiber mesh for me. Uh, you know, just a few minutes in, I already forgot I was doing modded. Oh well, you know, there we go. Easy craft mod. Just automatically crafts based on what I have within. So where is it? 100 meters of me. I'm going that. You can change it off, uh, which means as long as you have the stuff inside your inventory, you'll make whatever intermediate steps inside your base, which, you know, works well and for most part. But if you're building outside your base, it causes problems. And then the range 100. I like the range 100. Sea glide scan number two. Finally, sea glide fragment three unlocked. Don't have a battery, no blue kit, no copper wire ready, and boom, sea glide all at once. There's a sea glide fragment, which I don't really need, but we get the light stick fragment. There you go, got that. And we're right next to the emergency supply cache, grab some stuff here. Uh, yet another sea glide fragment. You know, easy to get out here, but. It's nice to have the sea glide so you can use it to get out here faster. I'd rather get it first from other places. I grab all these and oh Oxygen. yeah. Food and water. Got plenty of that. I need other stuff. I see I got yeah, I got some uh, extra some uh bladder fish I can munch on for some O2. I got a mobile vehicle bay fragment, sea monkey nest scan, and right here, laser cutter fragment. All together. I'm diving too deep, but I don't care because I can still get my scans. 
Laser cut a fragment. Yes. I got get this. Uh, now I'm gonna go worry about Seed Monkey Army right now. I can come back for that later. Oh, there we go. I came in range. We got the SOS. Uh, mobile vehicle bay fragment. There we go. That sounds like a distress call. Oh, oh, oh. Mobile vehicle bay. Right there. Unlocked. Done. Ready to go. I'm kind of using the sea glide to move, but I'm also looking down and pressing space so I can kind of keep moving forward without sinking, but it gives me a way to look down and watch for just, you know, happening to pass over something. Like a sea truck fragment. Right here. Yeah, I can already make it that quick and easy yeah so I have the mobile vehicle bay before I even got the habitat builder this time I can see well enough I could find my way to the bladed iceberg I know what that means I go here we're gonna see right past it Let's see if I can see the sparky there it is the sparkiness we've got one of the tech sites and then I know going straight out from the tip of the iceberg I can find another tech site which is also quite useful can't forget the tech site right below this gotta drop down and grab yeah we'll grab that because you know I might need to heal and beacon so I can mark my stuff just barely make it out still but if I go this way and I start to look down and just straight down and boom there you go tech site yeah 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 100 meters i got gotcha, you i got gotcha. you but you know what tech site with data bots for high capacity tanks so i can make up for the extra depth builder fragments have builder water water window and uh go let's see is it where is it, where is it? Oxygen plant right here. Also, uh, sea truck fragment right here. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Sea truck fragment, two PDAs. Nice and easy. Done. Oh, where are you? Where'd you go? There you are. Final sea truck fragment unlocked. And high capacity O2 tank. That will help. Now I've got a few more things to grab. We can make the sea truck. Uh, can I make the habitat builder? I cannot. I need stuff for a computer chip and a battery. I, I, I got stuff for a battery. I don't have. I need table coral samples. And do I not have. I used up my gold. So I need table coral samples and gold. Finally, laser cutter fragment scan number three. Yes. Okay, got that unlocked. And there we go. Yeah, we got some gold outcroppings in here. Yes, chance of gold. All right, so I got some gold going. Also got my laser cutter. It's always good. Habitat builder. Yes. All right, ready to start building a base. And I'm definitely ready to start building a base. Let me say that. Yes. Oh, it took the partially used battery that I had. All right. Well, I'm going to have to go and do new battery. So previously, I built through the middle of that. Kind of fun. But what got me was seeing this large flat iceberg and the idea of doing like a big solar farm on it. So I'm kind of thinking I want to actually build around this this time as my first base at least and work towards that fancy solar farm maybe maybe do like something where this is the moon pool entrance here okay i think that might be uh high up enough that i can get onto the land area right there at least i'm hoping because it's got the the support legs fairly high up and i'm just gonna do like this for now I can build out from there. So, yeah, we'll just throw in the hatch and totally skipping the whole starter base at this point. I'm just going flat out. This is where I'm building and I'm just going to go ahead and get started with it. 
Let's see, what does it do? Oh yes. Oh yes, look at that. I made it. And there's even more space over there. I mean, I guess I could build over there and try to do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and extend this out a little bit more because this will be where I have like actual rooms extending out later. For now, I just need it to uh, let me get started. Maybe a little bit of uh, storage inside. And so see how the snap builder works. It's not like this normal. It snaps it in nicely and then hold control. You get this fine tuned snapping. Super easy to line stuff up. I definitely encourage you to get the snap builder if you are a big base building type person, you just want to build a lot of bases in the game. It makes a substantial difference. I'm just make it easy for now. Just gonna snap the solar panel on the outside, freeze up some space, and will get me the basic power I need for doing some stuff. And you know, we'll just go with fabricator there, which. How am I, am I seriously out of titanium? Oh, that's impressive. <laughs> I didn't know I had burned through all my titanium. Fabricator done so I can make stuff I need. We'll do a battery charger because you know, I'm, I'm going to burn through stuff. Apparently I used up everything I have for wiring kit so I could go get more stuff. That's fine. I'm on the way. You know, I probably should drop that off in the water. Grab trap fragment. So grab trap unlock some more titanium. Now there is a mod. I didn't add it yet, though. I'm open to adding it. I'm just not sure I want to, but there is a mod that basically when you have stuff you've already unlocked, instead of just defaulting to two titanium, it will give you a random set of items from the recipe for that. So like mobile vehicle bay, you know, if the mobile vehicle bay is, where, where is it? Where is it? I'll find it there. Uh, so, you know, random, I might get a computer chip, lubricant or titanium ingot because of scanning a completed blueprint with that mod. If you would like to see me use that mod, put in a comment below. I don't think it's going to be that beneficial overall, but if you want to see me try it out, put in a comment below and I'll certainly add it in. So now the third main mod I'm starting with is the building tweaks mod because it means I can do stuff like this where I can have a locker placed outside. I can, you know, put a fabricator kind of on the outside, kind of acts goofy on certain things. But, you know, for the most part, I can put stuff outside that I normally would not be able to put outside. And some things will, of course, be more problematic uh, outside than they normally will be. I, I can't see if I can get this place. Maybe I can place this in a better place in the big room with it, but basically right now I've got the easy craft mod to make things easier to build and I've got snap builder and building tweaks to improve my building in terms of bases. And there we go. Sea truck main cabin. So I have some better mobility and now outpost zero. So uh, lots of scans. I shouldn't really be here yet. If I was doing a story, but you know what? There's lots of scans here. I want scans. Not so much prawn suit, but more of the big room right there. Multi-purpose room. It's just the easier place to go to get a lot of stuff at one time. Large room scan. All right, we got the ion cube. We're gonna, yeah, take that. Got to you know, scan all the thing. Oh wow! Oh, all my hands messed up. <laughs> I was like, I was. And something got weird with my arms. I, I couldn't hold it right. Had to use my wrist. Had to, you know, improvise. And I'm scanning through the wall magically the multi-purpose room. Indoor grow bed. Oh, yeah. Lantern fruit. Yeah, sure. But the grow bed is the big thing. I want the grow bed. Oh, yeah, we'll grab the glass dome because if I'm building in open air, I'm going to do some glass domes and such. I want to make it look nice. So I have the unlock for the big room. I just don't have the ingredients. I need a plasteel or two plasteel ingots. I need lithium for that. And I have not found any lithium yet. So 
drop this stuff off. Oh, let's eat, drink, be merry. And I'll head out and grab some lithium. Yes, lithium. There we go. Right next to one of the... Is that the... Not thermal vent. It's the... Um, Warning. Passing 100 yeah, meters. scan spot. Oxygen efficiency decreased. And we got cryptosuchus eggs laid in a very kind of ornamental pattern, honestly. And this will make two plastil ingots. We had just decided to make them so that frees up some inventory space. Uh, just because, yeah, we'll need, I need some space cleared up because about to uh, step out into the cold, dark night. We'll take the hatch out. And we're going to do a large room. Let's see, how do I want it? Hey, well, if I can get where I can see this. Oh, no, you don't. I got everything else building here. Don't you dare tell me the large room cannot build here. Oh. Oh, I'm not happy. Uh, let's try this then. Uh, okay, so I can't place that. All right, so I just got to get the snap to not happen. I got to get far enough the snap doesn't happen. And I think I just need to do... A foundation up here instead. Oh, that look at that. That works. That works right there. It's kind of in the way of stuff, but oh, look at that. All right. All right. We go get warm again. Oh, I'm just gonna put the hatch on top. How about that? Should be easier. Uh, yeah, we'll take these out for now. I might add them in later. I just really want to get this going so I can put a big room. There you go. Look at that. Uh, big room. Is, is it? Oh. Did it, did it attach? This might actually work to my advantage having these separate spot. Yes, it does attach. All right. Let's see. How do I want to do this? I guess I'll go that way. Yes. All right. We're going to have it go that way. Long room, I can branch out to the sides from there. Oh man, the snap builder is gonna make placing these so much easier. Make sure they line up. So yeah, we're just gonna, I'm gonna toss stuff in here for now. Ooh, let's, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work this a little differently. I'm gonna take piece by, I have two clothes, yeah. Piece by piece out, it's gonna move my compartment over slightly that's okay you know it's i'm not like just absolutely locked into the position it was in i just you know general position here and there we go so back to having exactly pretty much what i had before maybe a little bit lower on this end than it was you know one placement level lower but it's fine we got this. We go back up here. And I left the hatch here so I can get out and do some. Uh, well, I guess I'll just do it this way. We'll do some solar panels out here for now until I do the massive solar farm type setup later. I got that. And oh, once again, Snap Builder. So easy to get things placed and lined up. And of course, the sound power. There we go. You know, it's just like right there. You know, just snaps in place. Done. Even rows. Can't believe a snapping option is not native to the game. Definitely got to get the grow bed going because uh, I've got stuff that I can free up space with. There we go. That's one. Done. Uh, yeah, need outside for that. You know what? I need exterior grow beds. And here we go. Exterior grow beds. Yes, make it easier. I don't have to go find as much stuff. So we're gonna take ribbon plant. All right, now I got my, I got those going. You know, I'm not even gonna worry about going inside for that other one. I'm just gonna grab this one, dump it here, and then we're gonna get some seed clusters or one seed cluster. And yeah, we're gonna have a nice hefty little iceberg base across this big flat area that I'm 
continuing to run across. Oh yeah, plenty of room. I can do some, I don't even have to stack levels. I just make this big one level base. And then one spot for just a ton of solar panels. So I'm off to a good start for this series with the first full release modded series. I do have the mods that I'm using listed below and every episode will have the listing below of the mods that I'm using. Uh, of course, this is for Steam and Epic platform. Right now, you can't do this even with the Microsoft PC version because it's basically the Xbox version of the game. You know, don't buy from Microsoft, buy it from Steam or Epic. But yeah, I've got some mods going, mostly building mods. Next time, now that I have the sea truck, we'll focus on doing some stuff with the sea truck and some sea truck mods. But that's it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. And uh, we'll see you next time.